We're here to talk about a little bit of a hot topic in the survey industry, and that's the difference between using a physical keyboard out in the field, like a CS20 is, is a good example of that, and a touchscreen for data entry and survey software. So I have Alex here with me, and we're going to talk about you know, our preferences a little bit. Now we have these new controllers. They have much larger real estate. Yeah, yeah. they have bigger screens. So uh, with the bigger uh, screen, uh, the touchscreen keyboard is a lot more effective. You always had to choose between um, the tablet, right? Mm -hmm. The larger tablet, the larger real estate, or the smaller screen yep. with the CS20, but you get the keyboard. Exactly. Yeah, you had to do use the touchscreen. Now though, we have a oh, yeah. we have an option to do that's this is kind both, of the, right. Yeah, it's kind of the game changer. Yeah, is the the new uh, Bluetooth keyboard. So with the new Bluetooth keyboard, it gives us that flexibility to be able to do both. So it allows us to clip right on. It's nice and sturdy. We don't have to worry about so it apart. Clips onto your pole, right? Yeah, exactly. So it'll tie right onto the pole and and be able to get that same data entry feel that we've had with the CS20 for years. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. So it's kind of funny because it's like a lot of people talk about uh, touch screen versus, you know, these tactile ones. So I think weight-wise, it does feel very similar to the CS20 setup. The nice part about it, though, is you do get that higher, uh, that slightly larger screen. screen. Yeah. You get this bigger screen and you get the same data entry that you get yeah. with, the, with the CS20. So now the question becomes, mm -hmm. right, mm -hmm. which one... What do you prefer? I know there are instances where a keyboard is sort of a must mm -hmm. just because of environmental things. Yeah, it for me, it's better. it's more weather. It's more weather. So you're out in the cold and you have gloves on. It makes it difficult to use the touch screen. You know, you can you can touch the tactile keyboard. You can end up working with it and mm -hmm. you, you know where the buttons are and you can, you know, yeah. even with bigger gloves, you can hit the OK key. But if we talk about now just average serving, not like... Well, like the extreme weather conditions. Let's just talk about average serving. Which one do you prefer? And there, there are some folks out there who swear by the keyboard. That might be me. And so, so be it. And there, there's some people who prefer the snappiness of a like a touch screen, you know. But let's find out which one we prefer. We're gonna do a little test. Jump into do a typing test here. Yeah, and we'll find out. We will find out which one is better. So you first, do you want to use the touch screen? I suck at typing, so it'll be like, I'm the perfect guinea pig. So uh, so I'll have to put it down though. I'm not going to do the thumb thing, but, but because normally it's attached to a uh, pole, right? Yeah, it's so, usually attached to the pole, so you could just, you know, we're going to you know, do a typing test. Take, take it easy on me. I know he's a better, better <laughs> typist, if you want to call it, but I'm going to do my best. Okay, it's kind of embarrassing if I mess up here, but this is a... Typing test for really cool people. Okay, so well, I kind of messed up there. So wait, 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 hold on. Touch, touch screen. Oh my god, I had it like I. Okay, I'm gonna fix this. Typing. There you go. Uh, really cool people. So now I'll do the same thing mm -hmm. uh, with the with the keyboard. Do you want to do it, or you? We'll let you do it, and then I'll, I'll do it, and then you, and then I'll do it, and I'll show you how fast okay. I am. Yeah. yeah. Okay, because I know you're already fast in these things. Oh yeah, I. Uh, you're I such have. a show off. Okay, let's just let's just stop. It's from years of being out in the field with the CS20. Do this thing, because because I I do like how this feels, mm -hmm. and I do like the the sort of it kind of reminds me of like these phones, like BlackBerry. Oh yeah, um, everyone. But I'm Canadian. I like Blackberries. <laughs> yeah. Okay, but I'm gonna. <laughs> Try this. Uh, so I said, this is a typing test for really cool people. Let's see if this is actually true. Uh, wait. The <laughs> oh. <laughs> it is a typing. Wait, no, wait. Hold on. Ty wait. Oh, man, this keyboard type. Wait, typing Ta test for. I think you're hamming it up. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Really cool. I can do this. Okay. Did I mess something up? Oh, okay, never mind. This you is, did. You want you want me to quickly fix it for you? Because <laughs> you know, for me for me it's easy. And for some reason it's a little bit tougher for you, but that's okay. See back over here. It's nice. I have the keyboards here where you have the arrows go back and forth, yeah, nice and easy. Sense. And you're missing an S and I can okay. just really easy. So now you do in. it. With the, oh, you with want, the with you the, want the touch screen first? Touch screen first yeah. Okay, the touch, touch screen first. first. We'll put the touch screen on and we'll go this 
is uh, typing. Oops. Ooh. But really cool people. And I, I can admit, that's not so bad. <laughs> that's not so bad. But but out in the field when you have, you know, rain and you have snow and you have gloves, yeah, it's not always perfect. It's not always perfect out in the field. All right, let's see how but you here, do with the, you wanna the see, TI does with this. You want to see how I do with this? Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> so... That's how fast it is. That's ridiculous. Yeah, it's way faster. For me anyway, I've used the CS20 a lot and I'm really used to the keyboard and it allows me to really, you know, feel comfortable typing. I can't type on this to save my life. Yeah, it's just you haven't worked out in the field enough. <laughs> wow, ouch. Ouch, ouch. Very ouch. But, but, but to be honest, it- This it is really, a typing test, okay? It, it's, but I do like this. Yeah. Touchscreen is snappy on here. I gotta say, it's snappy. Yeah. Uh, it works well. I don't see a problem why why somebody you know yeah. would complain about this. It's not really about typing though, right? It's no, no. about the the magic button, as he called it. So when you're holding on to the keyboard out in the field, you the OK button is just there. It wraps mm -hmm. your finger around. You're holding on to it that way. And again, with the CS20, it just it's comfortable, and so you can you know where the function keys. But you have are the function the keys up there. Function too. keys at the top. We have the yeah. OK. We have the enter key. We have, and and especially the the number buttons. You're adding you know changing rod heights. You're changing pull heights. You're adding in offset numbers. You know those are the numbers that I, I hit the most, and I know exactly where they are at all time. Whereas if you pop up a touch screen keyboard, you have to hunt for them a little. You have to look down, but but as, for me as a beginner, though, yep. I have to say that um, I prefer the whole touchscreen interface a lot better because I have this sort of contextual interface where I just tap this and it measures this and it's just very, it's just very immediate. I'm more of the generation who grew up with it touch screen so I feel very comfortable and familiar with it. Yeah. Well and that, that that's the thing. So you're calling me old. I love that too. <laughs> <laughs> but you you're saying that. I'm not saying true. that. That's true. When we're doing staking and stuff, when I'm just using this for staking, I'll mm. I'll typically not use the the, the keyboard. I'll just do everything on the screen. Yeah. Right? Because it's super easy. It's super easy. It's yeah. like super it's easy. Cap yeah. it. I just I just click even it. I can do it. Yeah. I just just say it. <laughs> exactly. Even, e you, can even you can do it. So I can I can just click a, a button and I can I can move forward. Whereas if I'm doing data collection, I usually go and kind of migrate towards using the keyboard because I'm doing a lot more data entry. So staking I'll I'll typically not use a keyboard and and with data entry or data collection I'll I'll use the keyboard. Um, the nice part about the holder for the CC one eighty is I sorry I don't have it here, but I can actually use it with the CC one eighty or pull it off, and I, I can use either or out in the field. Just but I gotta say though that that I like um, I do like how tactile this is. Yeah, like the oh exactly. I love like the the, I don't know if you can hear. I love the click on the microphone. I love the click. It's just really good. You definitely know when you hit the key. Oh yeah, you know when the key right? goes in. You, you know I'm just not as fast. Okay, so we don't know who is right. You decide that for for yourself. Yeah, and again, I think what, you know. what, you're, what we all know is it's a preference, right? Like you can use a touchscreen keyboard. You you can you can work with the touchscreen. Um, if if your preference is is using a, a tactile keyboard, you have that option. You have that flexibility, and it's just about uh, whatever you prefer. I'm happy just using the touchscreen. I yeah. mean, I tried it, and I you know, I gave it an honest shot. Yeah, and I like using either or, but I, I probably prefer leaning towards the, uh, the keyboard. But so anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We'll see you later. Happy surfing.